Hey, 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 family, it's your girl Evelyn, and I'm back with another video in my How to Work Less and Make more series and so I'm really really excited about this one today because this is the one that I like to drive home okay and it's really really simple one of the ways to work less and to not experience exhaustion and burnout and like frazzleness and anxiety and feel like you're all over the place is really really simple is to follow a strategy what is the strategic plan for your business. Heck, what is the strategic plan for your life? Okay? What is the strategic plan for your self-care? What is the strategic plan for your finances? What is the strategic plan for your health and wellness? What is the strategic plan for your family? What is the strategic plan for your goals, your marriage, your relationships, right? What like what's the plan? Okay? Uh I I did some research a while ago and found out that statistically only 3% of the American population considers themselves planners. 3%. And so I now realize why when I have worked in various roles for various companies in organizations, why their lack of planning used to drive me crazy. What is the plan? And what I found is a lot of times people who love spontaneity um, are really adverse to having a plan but let me tell you what I have found as a strategic planner is that having a plan actually makes it easier to be spontaneous I know it sounds contradictory but I've seen it happen when you have the plan in place and the infrastructure in place you can make decisions in the moment and immediately see how they're going to affect Affect every area of your life or every area of your business or every area of your organization and you can make a quick decision on whether you want to send that ripple effect out and it's going to be fine or send that ripple effect out and it's going to be detrimental when you have the systems in place to be able to flex you've already got the infrastructure to be spontaneous uh, when you want to be right and so also eliminating a lot of chaos and confusion Anyway, so let me get back to the point of today because we're talking about how to work less and make more. What I realized is when you want to work less and make more, working less becomes easier when you know exactly what to do and what exactly you don't need to be doing. And when you do not have a strategic plan for your business, it's really difficult to work less because now you're just going in a thousand different directions at once. You're starting this project and that project and you got this idea and that product and that service and that launch and that client and you're just kind of all over the place and you feel like you're sprinting a marathon, right? And listen, I know I'm talking to you because you wouldn't, listen, you wouldn't be watching a series if this is not something you were experiencing. And this is what I help my clients do, right? Is how do, you, how do I get out of this? I feel like I've got 10 plates in the air all spinning at once, feeling and get to a point where I have a few things that I need to be doing well and consistently, but I'm still gonna make money, right? I'm still going to be bringing in income. And what happens is when you streamline and when you get really, really focused and when you have a strategic plan, right, you can, you can duplicate that with ease and you can do, then you can duplicate your sales process or whatever it is with ease allowing you to scale with ease so a lot of times you have to simplify to amplify right and so part of being able to simplify is if I don't know what's working and what's not working because I don't have a plan and I'm just trying stuff and doing stuff here and there, then I don't know what to condense it down to so that I can refine that and then I can expand that. You don't, you don't want to expand chaos. You do not want to expand confusion. You don't want to expand overworking. You don't want to expand last minute, halfway done, incomplete projects. What you want to expand is a process or a system that you know works for your particular business and then you can scale that thing and you can grow it because you now have simplified it enough that you know the system and the structures and the, even, maybe even the team members that you need to put in place to do it. Okay, so let me ask you this. Do you have a strategic plan? Not only do you have a strategic plan, what is your strategic profit plan? 
What is your strategic marketing plan? What is your strategic social media plan? What is your strategic growth plan? What is your strategic lead generation plan? What is your strategic self-care plan? What is your strategic operating plan? Right? What is your what what's the plan? Or are you just doing? Is there a place where if you needed to bring in some help, if you needed to bring in some team where you could pick up your plan and stick people or processes or systems or apps or software in to be able to duplicate and scale that for you. Um, if you don't, your girl is here to support you with that. If you want to, you know, talk to me and do a brief consultation session, my consultations are always complimentary. It's not free coaching, it's a consultation session to help you grow in that area. So I would love to uh, support you in that way if I can, if I feel like um, I could be a good fit for you and you could be a good fit for me, then I'd love to do that. I mean, after all, that's what I do. That's why you're watching these videos, right? You wouldn't be watching these videos if you didn't need the assistance and the support. So anyway, the link to um, apply to work with me or to have your consultation session is in the description box below. But if you go to bit.ly forward slash chat with Evelyn, then if you just fill, that, fill out a quick questionnaire just so I can get some more information about you and your goals and your life and your business if you have one. And uh, I'm excited because this is what I help women do in my programs, in my coaching, is what is the plan? And it doesn't eliminate the fun and the spontaneity. It gives you the framework to be able to do that with ease and without chaos. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And ask yourself, when I'm doing things, what's the plan? What am I trying to do? I'm going to go now because my stomach is rumbling so loud that you probably can hear it on camera. And I need to go get something to eat. But anyway, I will talk to you in the next video. Peace.